Hello everyone, welcome back to Edgington, the city on the edge. Uh, it is midday of day 52 and we are just sort of moseying along, getting things done. Our patrols are just swapping over, so we've currently got about four people on the roads at the moment. Um, but by and large we should be down to the two soon enough. I am contemplating uh, when I have enough people, at least. Uh, making the patrols actually be even larger. Goblin Marauder spotted by Margaret Bell. Oh, oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, tell me you're wearing armor, Margaret, please. No, you're not. Oh, gods. Um. Where's the nearest patrol? And when did you just, did they just literally just turn up? Oh, yeah, and they're setting fires. Grand. Oh. Are we, oh, jeez, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. Okay, well, uh, let me see. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So Margaret just caught the leading edge, but it looks like. Oh, is there no one over here? No, it's just a heart. Okay, um. Paper, are you armed? <laughs> Not very well, but you do have the steel halberd, so there is that, I suppose. And you are, pro you are patrolling right now. Um, okay, let's bring you up here, and Margaret, I want you to head for head for the safety of town, and hopefully you'll be sufficiently able to outrun the sky. Okay, yeah, he is going for. Oh boy, yeah, and there's the fire they just set. Take my my road. Okay, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. In fact, as long as you keep this guy's attention, this will be a lot easier. Oh! Well. That's a way to start an episode, isn't it? Well, Paper, it is my unfortunate responsibility to inform you that you have died. They caught us at shift change. I guess all the armor wasn't in the bins just yet. Now we have to deal with the wolf. We should be capable of. They're significantly more armored. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed uh, the raven instead of paper. Well, I'm not telling you what we're going to do about it now. What is this wolf going to be doing, I wonder? Oh, is he going to head for our animals? No, no, he is not. He's heading for Trip. Uh, who is not wearing anything? Trip, can you back off fast enough? Ah, just about. Okay, head, head for Rafe. Head for Rafe. I just need you. Okay, there we go. And Brave leveled up for that. Yay, that's something. Hi. Well, Rafe, you've got quite a day ahead of you, because there's the other Marauder. Right there. And there's more coming down the road as well. Oh, joy. Level 12 Herder. Hey, that's something. Yeah. Margaret, it is not safe for you out here right now. Please go back. Honestly, it's not terribly safe for just about anybody. Uh, okay. Come on! Okay, good. There is a couple more dudes. Oh, that's an archer as well. Ooh, archer's gonna be the most annoying part of this. Wait, what are you doing? Are you... Sleeping? Oh, I guess we just turned over our shift again. Ooh. 
Okay, uh, where's our new shift? <laughs> is my next question here. Because we have a lot of goblins to deal with. I mean, we don't have any more, uh... Ooh, hello. What do we have over here? Penguin. Okay. Penguin, what are you armed with? Very precious little. Um, over here, please. Where's Aku? Ah, cool. Where are you? I can't find Aku. Cool. Alright, no, get back here. I can see the Goblin Archer right there. You will not take it. Okay, there's Rafe. Where's Aku gone then? Oh, jeez, that's just so many. Okay, well, there you are. Still asleep. Should be awake. Well, you know, should be asleep. Uh, let's see, it was Penguin, Paper, and Aku and Rafe. Aku, Rafe has just gone to sleep. Aku has just gone to sleep, which I guess leaves us up to Penguin. Grand. Uh, well, let me know if you want me to put your name back into the pool, I guess. Uh, really need you to get back to base so you can actually really resupply. Or anything else goes down. We've already got two heavily wounded people here. Uh, I guess we're, I guess we're clearing clearing out zombies. Uh, zombies. Uh, skeleton goblins today. No, 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 no. Goblin Aroda. Okay. Probably can take you then. Of an archer. An archer would be a lot more difficult. <laughs> or a lot more dangerous, at least. Uh, doesn't look like it's caused any significant damage to the road, at least. Okay, sidestep. Done! Okay. Put Margaret, no. Back. Back. Bad Margaret. Ah, uh, they probably did some damage to some storage. Yeah, buildings. Looks like they took down one of the, uh, the, the building cart we had up here already. Which I don't recall seeing on my alerts anywhere. Okay, uh, Penguin, let's bring you back in here to restock. We should have some pretty decent armor pieces in here stored away. Oh boy. Stone hose. How are we doing for stone tools? Uh, stone tongs, stone hammers, stone axes, pickaxes, hose with under 15, fishing poles under 3. Mm. Okay, what are you packing? Significantly better armament. And you're still at full health, which is good right now. You are quite slow as a consequence of this. Huh. Well, Gar Garrett has leveled up. Am I gonna give you a name? Like I, I can't recall if I gave you one and that was it, or I like. Hmm. Someone will have to remind me. Uh, oh, oh! It just occurred to me. Where is Sawtooth? Because Saw is almost always in the wilderness. Oh, tell me he's not. Oh, thank God. Okay, no, he's in. He's in the main hall. Thanks, Meg. I mean, now he's going to go gather from the wolf, but whew, that could have gone badly. That could have gone quite badly. Have we actually finished that? Yeah, we had finished this mining out. Okay. Let's start digging the next direction then. Uh, let's, let's see. How long is that? That is 12. So if we just get that for a second. Uh, and then we go 14, so to about here. I make no comments about that actually being specifically accurate, but nonetheless. Uh, and it needs to be about 4. So to about there.
Oh boy, at least they can't bring more. Unlike unlike necromancers, the number of goblins that appear is a static function. They can't like rally more to their cause. But oh boy. Well, I guess uh, paper dying does give me an opportunity to talk about what I was going to talk about initially, anyways. Which was the value and merits of being strange. Um, because something that Fuzz routinely brings up to me is... What a strange individual I am. Uh, I say we go with these ones over here first. They're more clumped together, but you... You can pretty much one-shot them, and you're wearing our best armor, so I'm presuming that you can handle them one-on-one. -on -one. Aim the bell one-on-one. You're carrying food. All of the patrollers have been carrying food. Penguin was carrying... Penguin is carrying food. Paper was carrying food. That's just a function of patrols. Okay, next one. Over here. Want to get rid of these. Oops, sorry, I was getting very loud for you guys. Yep, I know, you spotted the other one. Oh, this guy hasn't turned around yet. And the other one. Very good. Whip. Oh, come on, you're gonna, dude, you're gonna burn our food? What's our food looking at, actually? Seeds, 750. These add about 30. Oh, yeah, we're, we're fine. But still, I have to fix that, dick. Grr, arg. Uh, level 12 fisherman trip, hooray. Just meanwhile, these are also going on. Ow. Okay, actually, that did barely anything to you, so just go whack him. Really? He survives a hit, but not, like, okay. Uh, there's another archer over here. There don't appear to be any more goblins over here, so that's something. Not that I can see. Wait, is that a... No, it's just a fisherman. Okay. Uh, right, well, let's take care of the last man standing then, shall we? Oi. So, yeah. Uh, Fuzz routinely tells me that I am a very strange individual, and the way that I like to look at it is that normal is not really a value that exists, so to speak. It's a, it's a sort of baseline plugged together by a group of people who somehow have a degree of influence in our modern culture, and that then informs us of this sort of uh, standard of being and behavior by which we are to adhere. Um, but it, at its best, it's just an average. It doesn't actually mean a great terribly much. Well, are very slow right now. Oh, finally, this guy's... Oh, grand! Fire arrows. Just what I didn't need. I'm just going to keep an eye on your health, because, oh no, you've ever stopped particling. So I hope that means that you're not on fire anymore. Level 18 infantry. Well, I guess on the list of balances, at least we lost the lower leveled person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, normal C doesn't really exist. It's just a measure of lots of people and then averaged out. So no one actually meets. Or almost no one actually meets average, or by extension, normal. Almost everybody is somewhere in deviation of that setting. And what's additionally interesting is that that particular setting that says this section of things is normal, this selection of uh, attributes and whatnot is normal, um, it says a lot more about the civilization or the culture that made it than it does about the actual people. So, for example, what is normal in Western civilization is an average height, medium build, white guy 
uh, who is straight. And there's also like the average height, dark haired, I think. Uh, I want to say B or C size breasts, or like B or C cup breasts, uh, woman who has a boyfriend. And just this long list of things. And you notice how many of these are cis norm or cis head normative? Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason for that. And it's why stuff like uh, stuff like normalcy is kind of overrated at minimum and wrong at best. Uh, now we with the there and we can make one of the living, so we must try. Uh, what else did we lose up here? I don't think... We might have lost in a, a bench, I think, but... For the most part, I think we just lost the food there. So that should be okay. And I'll get away from the fire so you guys can hear a bit better. Because <laughs> I know whenever I'm going over the footage that that ends up being noisy. Hey. But then here's the additional thing, even if normalcy was an actual thing, even if there was an average, a normal, that actually meant something in the grand scheme of things, it's better not to be that. And I, for the longest time, looked at this in a sort of um, evolutionary sense, where uh, evolution favours those who are odd, those who are outside the norm more than inside of it. Um, the reason being that those people have more li a greater likelihood to be disadvantaged or advantaged as opposed to the norm, which is just going to be average, so more or less have more or less the same values. Um, but it goes a bit further than that, because if you are actively trying to be normal, then you are actively not trying to be yourself, which means that there are aspects of your preferences, of your personality, of your uh, just identity that are being suppressed, which means it's actually unhealthy for you to try to be normal. It's better to be yourself on an actual, like, psychological level. And please tell me that we're not going to have more goblins just raiding here, because they do tend to come in waves, I've noticed. The sound engine's not quite sure what to make of all this. Are we out of... oh no, we stopped building brick-free. I'm not 100% certain we actually have the storage space for it now, but we can build another storage for it, that's not a problem. Uh, can we put that one over here, maybe? Do we have space for it anywhere? About blocking something else, at least. Um, like this door. We can embed it into this wall, is an interesting idea. I think I shall bunk it here. But should still have access yeah, so that we can get around to that. So that should be fine. Okay. And we're losing a lot of stone hoes. Let's put some of those on the list. Stone picks. Stone hoes. Add 25 of those to our list here. Uh, get rid of that copper. Uh, and meanwhile, let's put a food barrel back where it should be. Uh, how long have we had paper? I swear we've had paper for quite a while now. Such a pity. Uh, it was just bad timing, and I guess that's uh, a potential impetus then for us to start overlapping our patrols. But to overlap our patrols, we have to have even more... Uh, actual equipment in our storages, so uh, so that whenever someone gets up, they already have access to it rather than waiting for it to shovel out. Which is unfortunately significantly more expensive. <sighs> anyway, we're having a fair bit of trouble just getting iron right now, as it is, so... Oh, good. Hitting dusk. A second there, I thought we were freezing because someone had spotted something else for me to deal with. Well, 13 minor, congrats. And 
More stone hose breaking. Jeez, it's just the sort of day for it, isn't it, apparently? Right, well, hopefully the smoke of this fire has not caught the attention of any roaming bands that might come see what's up. I feel like there's just no way for me to actually meaningfully avoid the land just becoming scarred over time like this. Because goblins show up and they set fire to things, and then necromancers show up and they set fire to things, and I can't really do much terribly about it. Okay, barrel is back up. Hooray. And, well, I guess we know what our next settler is going to be doing. They're going to be our, they're going to be another, uh, another patrol, hopefully. Actually, Garrett's. I remember Garrett's. Uh, Clover, Trip, Garrett, oh yes, me, level up. Uh, you're a level 4 infantry. It might be worth me having actually Garrett head over immediately to being an infantry. Hmm. Ah, I guess I'll do that. So, let me see... We want you out between midnight and dawn and midday and late afternoon because that is when Penguin was out. Uh, that's Aku. Where is Penguin in the mix here? Rafe, who is looking a lot better uh, than they were not too long ago. There's Seth. That penguin? I presume that's penguin. I can click them. Yeah, yeah that's penguin. Okay, so penguins on. Yes, exactly that. Good. So that should mean that we now have a full complement again. I just slightly only wish that I'd already put that together before paper passed on. Oh well. Use pole arms because greater range is better for everybody involved. Except the person you're stabbing, of course. Yeah. But anyway, so apologies for that very brief word on uh, the importance of being strange. But we had a bit of a disaster there. First casualty, and I don't know how many episodes. Anyways, huh, that'll have to do for now. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you all next time. I've got a bench to rename now. Yeah.